Watch yourself. Bandits up ahead. Or something anyway. They're blocking the road. You don't think they're bandits? Bandits wait until people are vulnerable. Then hit them fast so nobody escapes. These bastards show themselves too early. They care more about driving people away than taking loot. They're either stupid, or they're more than just bandits. And they're too well armed for stupid. What can you tell me about the attackers on the road? Several groups. Some of them with bows. They've got better armor than most around here. It's too many for us. If you head out there, careful you don't get flanked. They don't take prisoners. Thanks for the warning. My research, the ancient elves may have set up wards near here. If we can find the artifacts they used, it may help strengthen this area against tears. And Duran Atishan. I did not expect to see another Dalish blood here. My name is Miris. By your weapons, I see you come ready for battle. Perhaps we face a common enemy in these demons. Are you fighting the demons on your own? Fighting the demons is pointless. There will always be more, and I have no means of closing the rifts. But I have heard of elven artifacts that measure the veil. They may tell us where new rifts will appear. I was not expecting so many demons, however. I believe one of the artifacts is nearby. Can you help me reach it? It sounds worth investigating. Thank you. It shouldn't be too much farther ahead. Thank you for joining me. I do not think I could have done this alone. What took you away from your clan? They were all killed. By a demon that our Keeper was foolish enough to summon. I am the only survivor of Clan Vernen. I was searching for another clan that would take me in when the breach appeared. Now, I'm doing whatever I can to help with this madness. of fire is that? I have heard of this but never seen it before. It is called Veil Fire. It is a form of sympathetic magic, a memory of flame that burns in this world where the veil is thin. There's an elven artifact nearby. Yes, the wards are helping to strengthen the veil. This area should be safer for travelers now. Well, that should prove useful. And it seems the ancestors left something for me as well. Interesting. I believe our alliance is concluded. Go in peace, stranger. Mahalani, Maglandeval, vi enasami. I. Perhaps you're right. Here, take it. Go with Mithal's blessing. So we're taking the magical fire with us? The veil fire must be making the runes legible. A weapon enchantment. This could be quite useful. I hear reconstruction is progressing well in Kirkwall. I know things are bad there. I wasn't trying to. You weren't trying to remind me how bad it is in Kirkwall, so you decided to talk about it? About its recovery. What you're talking about are the buildings, and even that will take years. People don't recover so easily. Chance of making 
peace seeker. You do not? And what was the Divine's plan? Bring everyone together and hope really hard they would all get along. Most Holy did not confide the plan to me. Perhaps she thought they were tired of death and conflict. Now when has that ever been true? For Templars or mages? I will not mock a dead woman, Varric. She did what she could, and that is more than most. What was that? We don't know what these rifts can do. That one appeared to alter the time around it. Something's not right. Stay on your guard. Make her have mercy. It's over. Open the gates. We spread word the Inquisition was coming. But you should know that no one here was expecting us. No one? Not even Grand Enchanter Fiona? If she was, she hasn't told anyone. We've arranged use of the tavern for the negotiations. Agents of the Inquisition, my apologies. Magister Alexius is in charge now, but hasn't yet arrived. He's expected shortly. You can speak with the former Grand Enchanter in the meantime. The Veil is weaker here than in Haven. And not merely weak, but altered in a way I have not seen. We should talk to the Grand Enchanter. Look at that old thing. I'm surprised it's still standing. This was a land of spirits and demons. Magic grows wild in the hills of Red. Tell me about your people. They say a spirit dwells in a small lake south of the highway. The girls of the village bring it daisies and ask for love, but rarely does it listen. For it is a spirit of valor, not love, and it favors blood lotus flowers. Welcome, agents of the Inquisition. What has brought you to Redcliffe? Is this some sort of test? We're here because you invited us in Val Royale. You must be mistaken. I haven't been to Val Royale since before the Conclave. If it wasn't you who invited me here, who was it? I... I don't know. Now that you say it, I feel strange. Whoever, or whatever, brought you here, the situation has changed. The free mages have already pledged themselves to the service of the Tevinter Imperium. An alliance with Tevinter? Do you not fear all of Thedas turning against you? Andraste's ass. I'm trying to think of a single worse thing you could have done, and I've got nothing. I understand that you are afraid, but you deserve better than slavery to Tevinter. As one indentured to a Magister, I no longer have the authority to negotiate with you. An alliance with Tevinter is a terrible mistake. All hope of peace died with Justinia. This bargain with Tevinter would not have been my first choice, but we had no choice. We are losing this war. I needed to save as many of my people as I could. Welcome, my friends. I apologize for not greeting you earlier. Agents of the Inquisition, allow me to introduce Magister Girion Alexius. The Southern Mages are under my command. And you are the survivor, yes? The one from the Fade? Interesting. I'd like to know more about this alliance between the Rebel Mages and the Imperium. Certainly. What specifically do you wish to know? 
I haven't seen any sign of Redcliffe's Arl or his men. The Arl of Redcliffe left the village. Arl Tegan did not abandon his lands during the Blight, even when they were under siege. There were tensions growing. I did not want an incident. I'd like to know more about this alliance between the Rebel Mages and the Imperium. Certainly. What specifically do you wish to know? The Grand Enchanter told me she was indentured to a Magister. Our Southern Brethren have no legal status in the Imperium. As they were not born citizens of Tevinta, they must work for a period of ten years before gaining full rights. As their protector, I shall oversee their work for the Imperium. I'm not clear on when exactly you negotiated this arrangement with Fiona. When the Conclave was destroyed, these poor souls faced the brutality of the Templars who rushed to attack them. It could only be through divine providence that I arrived when I did. It was certainly very timely. What does the Imperium gain from taking rebel mages under its wing? For the moment, the southern mages are a considerable expense. After they are properly trained, they will join our legion. You said not all my people would be military. There are children, those not suited. And one day I'm sure they will all be productive citizens of the Imperium when their debts are paid. You're quite a long way from Tevinter, Alexius. Indeed I am, though I have heard you are no Ferelden either. It seems we are both strangers here. Felix, would you send for a scribe, please? Pardon my manners. My son Felix, friends. I am not surprised you're here. Containing the breach is not a feat that many could even attempt. There is no telling how many mages would be needed for such an endeavor. Ambitious indeed. Well, when you're fighting a massive tear in the sky, you can hardly afford to think small. There will have to be. I'm so sorry. Please forgive my clumsiness, my lady. Are you all right? I'm fine, father. Come, I'll get your powders. Please excuse me, friends. We will have to continue this another time. Fiona, I require your assistance back at the castle. I don't mean to trouble everyone. I shall send word to the Inquisition. We will conclude this business at a later date. Come to the Chantry. You are in danger. Ooh, very mysterious. We'll be careful, but we need to figure out what's going on here. Magister Alexius wishes only mages to remain in Redcliffe. He will approve of you. He does not approve of me. Many villagers have already left to escape his ire. What does the Magister have against you? He does not like to be reminded of what mages can become. He says all Tranquil must leave Redcliffe, but who would take us in? You're one of the Tranquil? Yes. My talent for magic was insufficient to protect me from demons. Rather than risk me becoming possessed, the Circle removed my connection to the Fade. My magic is gone, along with my dreams and desires. Those now in Redcliffe prefer not to see us. 
How long have the Tavintas been here? Magister Alexius arrived at nightfall, two days after we retreated from the Temple of Sacred Ashes. He forced anyone without magic out of the castle, save those he required to serve him. Even the Arl was sent away. Farewell, then. One moment. You are a member of the Inquisition, are you not? I am an alchemist. You must require potions. If the Magister will not have me here, Perhaps I can offer my services. We would be delighted to have you working for the Inquisition. Thank you. While one lives, it is good to believe there is still a use for one's talents. We don't need your cult here. Your Inquisition's just Templars by another name. You'd rather bow to Tevinter than join the Inquisition. Don't tell me you bought the Chantry's lies about how evil Tevinter is. It's just because they're ruled by mages. No one wants us to look at them and say their mages are free and the world hasn't ended. But don't Magisters summon demons and practice human sacrifice? The Chantry says whatever they think will scare us. What's wrong with blood magic? People don't like the idea of us controlling their thoughts, but they have no problem with us throwing fireballs in their walls. In Tevinter, the mages police themselves. It works. Who are you? Linnea. Just Linnea. Don't ask what Circle Tower I'm from, because we're done with that. We're all free mages now. Why does everyone think we're part of the Chantry? We left the Chantry. They hate us. Right. And I'm the Empress of Orlais. Inquisition, huh? I wish to Holy Andraste you'd gotten here sooner. These two winters make my shoulder blades itch. Who are you? Name's Talwin. Formerly of the Circle of Magi in Hosburgh. Lived my whole life there. Since I was ten years old and came into my magic. Three meals a day. Quality education. A roof over my head. If you're not summoning demons, a mage tower is a fine place to be. If you were happy in the Circle, why are you here with the rebels? We're all rebels now. The vote sorted that. The majority wanted to dissolve the Circles. The rest of us went with them or were cut loose. I figured I'm better off with my fellow mages than on my own. You're not happy with this new alliance? Something's not right about that lot. They're not like us. Magic or no, I'd rather count myself among decent folk than stand with the Magisters. How did the Grand Enchanter end up working with Tevinter? One minute, we were bracing for the Templars to attack. The next, we had a Magister ally. It was a stroke of luck that's given us an edge. In a way, out of the frying pan. Goodbye. Be careful. The Tevinters likely aren't happy you're asking questions.